It carried Michael J. Fox back in time, and now at 8, the DeLorean Time Machine is going up for bids to mark the 25th anniversary of the Back to the Future. The iconic time machine is just one of more than 100 pieces of movie memorabilia about to hit the auction block. I'd love to have that car for the 405 yeah. for my commute. <laughs> the proceeds will benefit two children's charities, including Michael J. Fox's foundation, which is bigger than ever. Mm -hmm. KCOM Lines, Melissa McCarty is live in Sherman Oaks with an up-close look at some of the hot mm -hmm. items going up for bids. And Melissa, what do you have? Yeah. Well, you got that, that's for sure. It is getting bigger by the year, but right now I'm standing in front of the most accurate replica of the DeLorean from Back to the Future ever made. Check out this beautiful piece of art. I'm going to introduce you right now to Joe Walser because he is actually the man who made it. You're in your team, built this from scratch, took about four years. Why did you decide to build this beautiful thing and now give it up for auction? Well, I mean, we were all huge fans of the car, huge fans of the movie, and uh, you know, we set out to build the most accurate time machine replica in the world, and we've totally done it. And then, what a better way to, uh, you know, end the project, uh, but to uh, donate it uh, for a worthy cause. An amazing cause. And could you please do the honors, because everyone wants to check out this thing. Watch the door open right now. That's right. I'm going to try to hop in it. Thank you so much, Joe. Now, I'm going to show you my favorite thing about the DeLorean. It is the flux capacitor, which is over my shoulder right now. And with this in motion, of course, you know it's going to hit 88, and that was the speed that it needed to hit the travel time. All these gadgets here, I'm actually afraid to touch, but I know this great green one right here. It starts the CO2 that comes out of the back. We've been playing with that all night, so we, it's kind of tapped out right now. We can't show you that just yet, but this is an amazing car built from scratch, up for auction, starting at about $80,000. They're hoping to get more than $100,000, but right now I'm going to show you an item that actually starts at $100,000. Now, just this is Joe Maddalena with Profiles in History. Thank you for joining You're me. Welcome. Show me this amazing thing. That it's Superman number one. It is a rare comic book. Tell 1939. It. It's the first time Superman got his own comic book. It's the eighth best copy known in the world for condition, and it's a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars. So we have the DeLorean wow. and Superman. Now Star this is just shows. one of a hundred and fifty items Absolutely. for the auction, and, and I want all of you to take a look at some of the really cool items up for display. They could start bidding now. It's on Saturday. Why did all this come about? Tell me about the two charities that benefit. Two amazing charities. First, we're working with Michael J. Fox's foundation team, Fox, to raise money for Parkinson's. Bob Gale has donated a lot of items from his personal collection. They're being sold and 100% of the proceeds are being donated for Parkinson's research. And then Variety, which is the children's charity of Southern California, we're raising money for underprivileged, abused, and at-risk kids. You know what? Great opportunity, but you're going to get some amazing pieces of Hollywood history. That's right. Awesome. Great things. memorabilia. Thank you so much, Joe. We want everyone to check out our website, kcal9.com, for how you can actually start bidding right now and check out the auction this Saturday at Universal Studios. For now, we are live in Sherman Oaks. Melissa McCarty, KCAL.